Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to what's going to be a really fun tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to solve a bunch of really big problems with WordPress really quick. This is based off of a real-world scenario that happened just two days ago to me. I'm going to show you in this presentation how to create a custom contact form with a CAPTCHA and anti-spam blocking system that's going to allow people to upload files and a whole bunch more. Like I said, this started off as a real-world scenario in which somebody contacted me by email, and they said they needed a customizable contact form. It must allow for file uploads. It must block spammers. Maybe use a CAPTCHA system, which I'm going to use, plus I'm going to use the built-in spam blocker called a Kismet that's built into WordPress. It must provide for a free ebook whenever a person enters their email and their name. No problem. And it must be done in three hours. Whenever this was presented to me, I said I can have this all done in 15 minutes. The person didn't believe me. Actually got it done in less time than that. In this presentation, you're going to see how I did all of these things. All right, so here I am in the WordPress dashboard, and if you can't see what is on the screen here, just click full screen and up the resolution. You'll be able to see everything real good. Well, the first thing we got to do is we got to go get ourselves some plugins. So we're going to go into plugins. We're going to say add new. All right, and inside of this install plugins area inside of WordPress, you're going to type in contact form 7 which is a really nice contact form that is very, very customizable. Just going to come in here, hit install now. Everything updates. You're going to hit activate plugin. Okay, so we got that all set up. Now we're going to go add new under plugins again, and we're going to install our CAPTCHA system. So I'm going to type in really simple CAPTCHA. And this is going to add CAPTCHA capabilities to this customized guy. So I'm going to come in here, hit install now, hit OK. Again, activate plugin. All right, so we got the customized form set up. So now all we got to do is set up for the ebook. So hit add new. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in contact form 7 widget and search plugins. First one on our list, hit install now, hit OK, just like it did before activate plugin. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into pages and I'm going to create just a dummy sort of page for the ebook. And I'm just going to call this free ebook. Get your ebook. And of course, you could provide a link to that ebook on this page. And I'm going to hit publish. Then what I got to do is I'm going to hide this guy. So in my situation, that's under theme options. Yours might be under menus. You might actually have to come in here, click on menus under appearance, and then define your menu. But that's not the way my theme works. In that situation, you would just not include the free ebook as an option. But I'm using an elegance theme theme here. So I'm going to go into that options panel. And I'm going to go into navigation. And free ebook, I'm just going to X that out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll answer anything else you might have. And then I'm going to hit save. So now that link isn't going to show up. Now, of course, if somebody knows where it is, it, they'll be able to find it. Of course, you could give it either dummy text, meaning a bunch of characters and numbers and so forth, or you could do, perform a redirect. If somebody goes to this page prior to entering in that ebook information, you could redirect them back to the home page or whatever. But that's not really what this tutorial is about. If you want me to get into that, just leave a comment again, like I said before. Now I'm going to set up the whole entire contact. So we're just going to come down here on the left side. You're going to see contact. We'll click on that. And this guy's going to allow me to add all kinds of really cool contact form information. So the way it's set up right now, it's going to ask for the name, the email, subject, provide for a message to be set up, and a submit. Well, let's say, for example, the person wanted to provide a drop-down box that gave the options of either, let's say it's a hotel room, of either a single, double, or a deluxe room. So we're going to come in here. And it's real simple to set this up. Just go in here where we want this to go. Click on Generate Tag. Come down to Drop Down Menu. And we could choose that this is a required field if we'd want to. Allow multiple selections, do whatever. But I'm just going to leave everything as it is. And just say Single, Double, Deluxe. And then all you got to do is copy this little code that's down here. So just copy and paste it in there. Now that's going to provide for that. Now, of course, you're going to have to come in here and ask a question. So let's say P, Paragraph Tag, what type of room? I'm just going to make that real simple, throw in a break statement, OK, and then close off paragraph tag. All right, so that's real simple. And then I'm actually going to copy this. Let's say they also wanted to ask using checkboxes if the person requires a kitchen, jacuzzi, or a sun deck. All right, so let's just say what options for a room. OK, and in this situation, we're not going to use this guy right here. Instead, we're going to provide checkboxes, so no problem. Let's go generate tag, checkboxes, come down here, and we'll say kitchen, jacuzzi, sun deck. All right, so let's say we went to all that. And we could also choose, put the label first here in this situation so the person can see everything that they're doing. I'm just going to copy that, paste that inside of there. And then we'll just keep on moving on. And again, I'm going to copy this guy right here. And let's say we want to put radio buttons in here so that the person can choose what's most important to them. And I'm going to take out that space. That's most important 
and then it's going to be radio, so they're going to have to choose one or the other. So radio buttons, put label first. That's just going to show the label there on the screen. And you can also define IDs and classes and so forth if you wanted to do CSS styling, but I'm going to leave that for some other tutorial. And let's say view, price, or location is most important. Come down here again, just copy this guy and paste it in there. You could also put information in where the person would have to check off on a checkbox uh, acceptance. So we own firstborn son, okay? Just to be goofy. And they would have to check off on this acceptance if they would want this. Make this checkbox checked by default. Yeah, let's say yeah. Copy, paste that in there. Close off the paragraph tag. And let's say we also said that we wanted to have a CAPTCHA system set up inside of here. Well, that's really simple. Just click on Generate Tag again, CAPTCHA. Don't really need to do anything here. Just going to select this first part right here, paste that in. Select this second part, copy that, put it on a new line, paste that in. All right, now you have a CAPTCHA system set up. Whoop, remember they also wanted upload, so send your picture. Let's say that was something. So if we wanted to have them upload a picture, say for an ID or something like that, how's that set up? Well, just go generate tag. We're going to go file upload right here. And we're going to copy this. And here I'm going to show you a couple other little options. Let's say you only wanted to accept certain types of fields. Well, it's real easy. File types, colon. And let's say we we'll accept a PDF. Then you're going to put a little or symbol, which is over on the right side of the keyboard, right above return. And we're going to type in text or JPEG or GIF or ping or doc, docx, blah, 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 blah. And let's say we want to limit the upload size to two megabytes. Let's say to type in limit colon two megabytes. All right, so now they're going to be allowed to upload files as well. well that's going to be really cool. And then you have the submit button. And all this information is going to actually be emailed to you. So if you want to actually get hold of this file, have it sent in an attachment, no problem. Just come down here. This is all the information that's going to be sent over to you. So under file attachments, we're just going to copy and paste that in there and put these brackets around this guy right like that. And then you can see here, if we scroll up, see where it says your name right there. Well, if we scroll down, you can see your name is right here. So if you want to copy any of the other information that is sent in, and I'm not going to do all of these, all you're going to need to do is come in here right after the select part and go menu 25, copy, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to say type of room colon, paste like that, and put this guy inside of brackets. So that's really cool. And there is all of that information. And if you then wanted to have all of this information on a page, no problem. So you just copy this and hit save first, of course. And let's just say we want to put this on a page. So hit add new. And I'm just going to put contacts and I'm going to throw this under a parent. So I already have a contact us. And then I just take that code, paste it in there that we grabbed from before, hit publish. And you can see here's the customized contact form. Everything is right here. There's a little CAPTCHA system. Choose file. This is going to allow them to upload any types of files. And then this will allow them to send it. So there's that. Now if I want to set up the ebook, this is actually going to be extremely easy. I'm just going to jump backwards here. Come down. Click on contact again. And here I'm going to create a new form. So I'm going to hit add new. And I'm just going to hit add new again. You can choose different languages. All right. So let's just call this free ebook. And let's say the person's required to put their name in and this little star here is going to make it a required field and their email. And in this situation, I don't need a subject and I don't need a message, so I'm going to get rid of both of those. However, I would like to block spam. And here I'm going to show you how to also block it using a kismet, which is the spam blocker for WordPress. So you're just going to come in here, type in a kismet, and then go author. And that's going to block potential spammers that way. Kismet, colon, and here you're going to type in author email. All right, so that's how hard it is to set up a kismet spam blocking. And let's also say we want to also do the CAPTCHA system. So, CAPTCHA, we do exactly the same thing we did before. Paste, copy, paste. Now, let's say we want to do a redirect to the ebook page based off of that. Well, that's pretty easy to do as well. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll the whole way down here to additional settings, and we're going to say show. We're going to say on, sent, OK, colon, location is equal to HTTP, colon, and then here you would type in whatever your web address is, free ebook. Single quote, semicolon, double quote. Everything is set up right like that. And we'll just hit save. And here we got our free contact form. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to jump over into widgets under appearance. And we're going to come over here in the sidebar and put our contact form in over there. So drag it over here. 
type in free ebook or whatever you want to do. Subheading, you can change background, labels, all kinds of other different things. And under this, we're going to put in what we just created in the previous thing. We're going to say save. Okay, so here's the free ebook in the sidebar widget. So I'm going to type in my name and an email address and the little CAPTCHA system and hit send. And it was sent through perfectly and it automatically forwarded me over here to get my free ebook. So there's a bunch of different ways to do really cool things with WordPress really, really quick. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.